After returning from Safin, they arrived in Karbala. A man by the name of Harthama ibn Abi Muslim said, After morning prayers, Ali ibn Abi Talib, peace be upon him, raised some soil from Karbala, smelt it and said, O soil, from within you some people will be resurrected who will enter paradise without accountability. When Harthama returned home, he informed his wife, who is of course a devout believer and a follower of Ali salam, of what he saw. She told him, Amir al-Mu'mineen does not speak but the truth. Many years later, this Harthama was in the army sent by Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad to fight Imam al Hussein salam. Upon reaching Karbala, he crossed over like Hur did and informed Imam al Hussein of what he heard from Imam Ali alayhi salam. Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, asked him, Are you therefore with us? The man replied, Neither with you or against you. I have children and I don't want them to be harmed by Ibn Ziyad. Imam then firmly told him, Leave and go far from here. Don't hear my voice, for I swear by God, anyone who hears our cries and does not help us would be placed by God in hell. The powerful words and cries of Abba Abdullah continuously reverberate in our hearts. We must never be indifferent like Harthama and others. Instead, we answer the call of the Imam salam, as mentioned in his ziyar. لَبَّيْكَ دَاعِيَ Allah. إن كان لم يجبك بدني عند استغاثتك ولساني عند استنصارك فقد أجابك قلبي وسمعي وبصري Here I am at your service, O oh, he who invites people towards Allah. Although I could not put myself and my body at your disposal when you asked for help and could not declare my readiness to help you when you sought support, but my mind my soul, my understanding and insight are at your beck and call.